In today's video, I'll be showing you a few outfit ideas for different kinds of weather with a temperature rating for each outfit so you know when it's most appropriate to wear them. Most of the items that I'll be showing you are from Nike or Lululemon, which is just my preference, but I highly encourage you to try out different brands and models to see what works best for you. So first off, you definitely want to make sure you have a medium to high support sports bra. So this one is the one I have. This is from Lululemon and it's called Energy Bra. This is a great bra for just medium to high intensity activity. Next up, I have a tank top. This is from Nike. It's got the orange stripes on it for more visibility when it's lower light. I also have a t-shirt. This one is also from Nike. It's a customized one, it says Portland Runners Toronto, which is the group that I run with. And on the bottom, you could choose something like this. These are shorts from Lululemon. They are called Speed Up High Rise. And they're 2.5 inches, which is the length of the inseam here. When it's a little bit cooler outside, I like to wear longer tights. So for example, these are crops and they're about 21 inches. This one is from, again, Lululemon. And these are called the Wonder Train crops. And if you want full length pants, I have this pair. This is from Nike, as you can see here. And again, high rise full length pant for when it's a little bit cooler for kind of fall to winter time. And on top, I'd wear something like this. This is a jacket from New Balance. It's also got this Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon logo on it. I got this two years ago when I ran the Waterfront Marathon in Toronto. And kind of fleecy on the inside, so it protects you from the cold a little more. And, and of course, in the winter time, especially in Toronto, you need a running jacket. This one's from Nike again. And this is a downfill jacket, so it's quite warm in the winter time. And I usually pair this with a hat on top to make sure that your ears are covered and the top of your head is warm. And you also wanna make sure that you're wearing gloves because hands are the first to freeze. And lastly, the general rule for dressing for your runs is about 10 degrees Celsius. Um, you tend to warm up during your runs about two to three kilometers after you start. So even though it might feel cold at the beginning, you might be sweating a lot and take it from me, I wore a winter vest for a race that I did in May. And let me tell you, it was not pleasant. I hope this video has been helpful for you in giving you ideas of what to wear for different temperatures. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and thank you for watching.